Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tsarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly Tsarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Libra Star Sign and it is not your personal reading therefore in this video I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, there are synergy in the spread as well but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and as the Christmas is approaching, there are Christmas deals there, which regard to the 20 and the 30 minute live reading uh, services, which are to save you a little bit money. A little bit of money. So, uh, that being said, going to the Tsaro spread first. And the first position, the Queen of Swords, is about the topic of your week. Second position, the Hierophant, that will be the core of the situation. Third position, that will be the Hermit, which is the challenges that are causing predicaments. And the last position is the Two of Wands, which is the guidance the Tsaro is offering to you, Libras. So, that week is going to be a week where you have to be extremely focused upon the task at hand. Uh, it's, uh, it's a week of a breakthrough. Due at the appearance of the Queen of Swords here in the prime position, it points that you really are going to realize how to push your things through regarding career or regarding relationships. Uh, the, re the resolution of your issues are simply to pop up in your minds. And that's why you need to be very determined, you know, to uh, go as far as it needs to. That is important when we talk about uh, the Queen of Swords. Now, it is. Um, it will be also a week where you are to walk on a thin edge here because it is likely that some uh, situations are to repeat themselves in a different shell, you know, but yet seemingly um, very similar to what you have experienced previously in the past. For example, that could be a suitor of yours that very well uh, resides uh, to someone that you dated uh, <clears throat> previously or it could be a situation a job that you had as well similar situation in a previous job that didn't end up very well so uh, basically what this uh, what this this card here as the queen of swords is uh, is saying is that this time around you know you have a, a much wider arsenal to work with knowledge and skills as well also support is not excluded from a different people but the very um, the weapon that is going to really give you the edge is your clarity and the ability to foresee the results of your actions. <clears throat> so that week is going to be Libras, a week in which uh, things are to unfold the way you uh, the way you think they are to unfold uh, scale against your efforts and that's why you have to push very very hard because nothing is to happen by a chance here but is to happen only by a, a hard toils put behind it then this is pointed here to the hierophant card which sits into the core of the situation or why the queen of swords is happening or why you should be focused on the task at hand it is because the hierophant card it is the hierophant is the father of the hierarchy this is where the the name of the card comes from the hierophant and uh, in the very generic meaning when it comes to this particular interpretation points that you basically work for it and you deserve it you know you you walk through every single step and uh, you did it right and now uh, it's the very final push that needs to be done from your behalf to basically make the breakthrough that you are so yearning about. Now the Hierophant comes with more profound meaning also points that not everything is money, you know, and not everything is love as well, because there are more important things than that. Than that. For example, um, satisfaction from one's achievement and 
trust compared to love, you know. And uh, these are the virtues that you need to rely upon throughout this week. And uh, if you are, um, if you find it difficult to focus on the task at hand, because we do have the hermit here sitting on the um, challenging position, but we are going to go there in a minute, uh, then you need to remember why you are doing it. It is not about the end goal, it is not about the profits from it or the benefits that you are to win, but also why you are doing it. What is the cause? What is your cause? Um, Liberus. And as well, when it comes to relationships here, the, the Hierophant, the father of the hierarchy, he teaches us that one relationship, when it is a, a pure, when there is a, a pure love in it, is great. But without having mutual trust in between the two people, then it's uh, this relationship is doomed to deteriorate because you cannot be with someone that you don't have a trust in. So, uh, Basically, this uh, this reading here points that you are start to embark a, a new philosophy, if I may say it that way, or to find new virtues in your life, Libras. And these virtues are exactly what is to um, make you make you push forward hard, so you can have your breakthrough in this specific week, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. Now the higher uh, the hermit here into the challenging position, the uh, car pointing the predicaments sits for that. Uh, you are to find it uh, very bizarre that there is not much of a support that you are to face, or that vast amount of support that you are to face for. Uh, for that you have found a new way to break through or that you do have a new found virtues in your life. Uh, so basically here the hierophant, the, the hermit, excuse me, it is pointing that the direction or what is your salvation, what is exactly the light that shines for you there in the darkness, it's not going to be shared with many people but it's going to be shared only with those that are really ready to support you throughout the end of your journey. And that's why uh, this week is going to be also a, a testament of, um, of the trust that those that you have surrounded with have in you. There will be those who are going to mistrust you in a sense of that they will not trust that you are doing what is best for you. Uh, and there will be those which are ready to support you um, blindly to the, to the very end of it. And the thing here with the Hermit card is that you should disregard those who are not ready to walk with you in the fire, because this is what you are about to do. And uh, this is due to the difference in the, uh, in the intellectual level that you are obtaining due to the realization of those new virtue of yours. So uh, the, the Hermit card here points to that even though there is no one there to applaud you, the new direction that you, are near, that you have recently found or that you are to found throughout this week is the um, is the direction that you should really embark on and uh, in order one to find its own purpose one needs to withdraw from the world and uh, from its ideas so one can see what they are built for because your purpose it's your purpose it's not anybody else's purpose so the less people are supporting you this is going to be the biggest testimonial for you that you are or, or the biggest testament for you that you are on the right track here with your life and if the direction that you have chose there is no one there to support you with well that is definitely the thing that you should press on and the last card that we do have is the uh, guidance which Taro is offering to you. And that is the Two of Wands. And uh, this kind of feeds up the aggression of the Queen of Swords to really break through, to really push through the brick wall and to deny failure this time around. As I said, that this is going to be a repentance, um, a repentance from uh, from the past to a certain extent to a big extent uh, it's not going to be ex uh, exactly a, a doppelganger situation but is to be a, a very very similar one and this time around 
the two of wands points to a couple of things one is the aggression like I told you to so this time around you know don't do the things the right way and the second interpretation of the card is that you should this time around reconnoiter your environment instead of blindly jumping into it because the combination of these couple of cards points that those who are forewarned are also forearmed and those who are forewarned well they basically can alter their outcomes and so do you do Libra in this particular week have the power to alter your outcomes and uh, you know as, as soon as you embark on that power and you use it you are to see that those who are unfaithful to you are dropping like flies so that was uh, your weekly tarot reading and now let's see what the Lenormand cards have to say for you Libras they are to show a event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid let's see what we have now so the first card that is going to be the heart and the heart stands for bondage it stands for love it stands for commitment <clears throat> and then the next one this is the mice and the mice stands for problems it stands for something that it is uh, jeopardizing the situation from within and then we do have the key which stands for closing or opening uh, and also stands for discovery so uh, a couple of interpretations, well few interpretations here with these cards uh, the very broad one is that this week you are to understand why you are feeling miserable and that comes to the refound new virtues of your behalf realizing that you have to basically take a different direction your own direction <clears throat> Also, these cards may point that you are to find a, a resolution of a certain heartache um, and mend your heart um, in, um, in a certain way. Or it also could be an event that will show you that your relationship, as the way you have it right now, is futile or a commitment of yours with someone else it's quite a, a futile in this case the key represents closing based on a and issues which are eating the relationship from within and they prove to be quite unsolvable so that being said Libras this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again this was just a, a general reading for Libra star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you well that will be a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings Rat signing out now see you next time bye